But when you have a visual, it will help you. So what, who ha, knows anything about Reese Howells and the Bible College of Wales? Okay, so you've got a few of them. So I'm going to give you a quick cap on it. So Reese Howells was an incredible intercessor in Wales during World War II. And the Bible College of Wales, there was about 120 of them. That's a good number, isn't it? I'm buzzing. I'll get back behind my podium. Um, they prayed every single day throughout the entire duration of World War II, and they changed the world. They understood that they were coming up against evil. It was a demonic system. It was anti-Christ, anti-Semitic. And it was about the ability to continue to proclaim the gospel. It was a clash of kingdoms. We all understand that, right? So they prayed every day for the entire duration of World War II. So I'm setting the stage here because I'm going to demonstrate a prayer meeting using the fivefold anointings. Not the office, the anointings. So we are going to pretend, and you, if you want to be wrecked for the rest of your life, read the book, Reese House Intercessors. You'll never be the same. Um, it will take you to a, a depth of intercession that it will just move you to a place. Just read the book. Um, but I will give you the warning on it. It will change your life forever. And... Um, Reese would get the revelation and they would be praying through these battles. And I've actually read Reese Howe's intercessors along with a historical account of World War II, not a Christian thing, secular historical book. And you can see over and over again, and especially that, that Hitler made four blunders that they cannot give any accounting because he was a brilliant strategist, why he made the decisions that he did, but history is in the hands of the intercessors. And Reese, he's got documentation in his journals of when he was praying about these specific things and things radically changed. So what we're going to do is one of the battles that Reese prayed for was the Battle of Stalingrad. And at this point, the, the Nazis were encroaching into Russia, and Stalingrad was, they were under siege. So we're going to pretend that we are in Reese Howell's Bible College of Wales, and they are praying for this situation. So this is how the teacher might pray. Sorry if I'm out of view. Am I out of view? Am I good? So the teacher would pray, because remember... What is the teaching anointing strength? It's the word of God. So they're going to start praying. They're going to start declaring Psalm 91. God, I declare out of your word, Lord, send your angels to be around those who are in battle. God, we declare that you didn't give that, those soldiers who know you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. And they're just going to start ripping with the word of God in that prayer meeting. Then the evangelist is going to come in because they've got the heart for the lost. Lord Jesus, don't let one man perish tonight without having an encounter with you. Do not let them get into battle without knowing them that they are saved by the blood of Jesus. Lord, I just cry out for those souls who don't know you in this situation. If they were to die tonight, that they would be able to be in heaven with you. Then the pastoral anointing is going to say, Lord Jesus, I just pray that you release your comfort to those in that difficult situation that they are afraid that, Lord, that you would be with them, that your presence would come and surround them, that uh, as they're feeling lost and lonely, Lord, that you would be comfort to them, be with them, that they would sense your presence. I'm going to come back to you. The prophetic anointing is seeing in the spirit. I just see right now, I see, I see the strategies of the generals and I see um, that they are going to pull around to the left side of the, of the flank. I'm using bad language, but get my 
get my drift in this, that they're going to pull around and they're going to try and cut off the supply rhymes. I see that now in the spirit. I see the strategy of the enemy that's coming through. So based on the prophetic anointing, then the apostolic comes in and say, I decree in Jesus' name that every strategy of the enemy will be found out, that it will be cut short and that no weapon formed against those who are being sieged upon will prosper in Jesus' name. So do you kind of see the difference? Were any of those prayers bad? I know it's kind of funky, but I'm trying to demonstrate here when you have the different anointings, fivefold anointings flowing together, the fullness that you have in the prayer meeting. You've had the word of God wield. You've had souls cried out for it. Now, we didn't stay here. You know, we didn't stay praying for souls, 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 because we needed the prophetic anointing to make the declaration to shift the battle. Does that make sense? You guys getting it? Good? So, okay, you guys can sit down. So that's kind of part one. (laughs) Yes, absolutely, please. Just to confirm everything she's saying and how important this is for you and your uniqueness as intercessors and your even your uniqueness that you maintain in a prayer meeting and a corporate meeting and having your own anointing and your own giftings and callings is that when I was standing down here, I had an open eye vision of a bar of soap, a square bar of soap. It was white. It was old, old timey soap. And, uh, and it was all bubbly at the bottom. And Deborah was going along here, and she's talking about how we're not all cut out of the same bar of soap. You remember, remember when she said that? You remember when you said that? It's on the recording. Have you ever said that before? <laughs> the same bar of soap. And so I'm standing, and I'm saying, Lord, what's this about? Okay, so cleansing us, making us. No, nah, it's not it. Nah, nah, nah. Nah. No, it's the uniqueness that you are. As the Lord's servants, male and female, and the way he puts us together like a great puzzle, and we maintain our personality and identity, but we become one, and the picture that's formed in the puzzle is of Christ himself. Anyway. That's beautiful. Wow. That's awesome. So we're going to have fun for a second. Oh. Just wanted to add that uh, sometimes we may flow and a touch of that but primary when you see somebody those examples then you know that's what they're primarily are 